So it's some time after Christmas and you're a PC gamer with a whole bunch of gift cards burning a hole in your pocket and you're ready to make that ultimate upgrade to your system. Or maybe Santa slid his fat ass down your chimney and blessed you with a brand new GPU and you're wondering what to do with it. How about we try some ray tracing again? What's good with it? It's your Ken Fo Dookie, back again with Bang, budgeted new gear reviews so that we get the best bang for your tech dollars. First of all, I wanna send a big shout out to everybody that's been showing love through the years on this channel. I hope that you are having a great holiday season, spending time with family and friends, catching up with loved ones, no matter what you do or don't celebrate, spending it with the ones who matter. Now, a lot of you may have got a lot of good gifts and my friends over at Zotac hooked me up with the early Christmas present, the RTX 2080 Super. So I say, hey, let's throw this in my machine and check out ray tracing and see if it's fully turned around. I checked it out previously and it was cool. It was like a nice tech demo. There's been some advancements in it and more developers are starting to integrate it into their games. And the one game that really seems to take the most advantage of it is Control, which is an amazing game. You need to check it out. I'm probably gonna say that more than once during this video. Let's go ahead and get this installed in my machine and see what that ray tracing is like. This version of the 2080 Super is the twin fan edition from Zotac. It boasts a whopping 3072 CUDA cores along with 8 gigs of GDDR6 memory that should drive ray tracing performance in the most demanding of games. The system is using my small form factor beast with a 12 core Ryzen 3900X and 32 gigs of RAM. Now this should be more than enough raw power to get the full ray tracing experience in the game like control that really pushes the graphical boundaries and takes the immersion factor to the next level. RTX on is the way to play it. Even when you start it, the game lets you know that to experience any RTX features, you gotta play in direct X12 mode. Once in the menu, you have two ray tracing settings presets, or you can go custom and choose which ones you want. Let's go to the windows and to the walls and crank it up high. As we jump into some actual game footage, I want to show you exactly how ray tracing really adds to the immersion factor of a game like Control. Not only is the storyline compelling enough to pull you in, but the graphic style and added realism playing with RTX on takes you deep into one of the best gaming experiences I've had in a while. Take for example this location in the research sector. The ray tracing elements really make a larger difference in how you perceive the surfaces around you. With RTX off, you can only tell that this is glass because you can slightly see through it. But turn it up and not only can you see through it, but you also see your reflection and everything else around you. Look at this image here. Simply pan around and boom, you see that creepy body floating in the background. As you progress through the game, you notice more and more locations like this where reflections in a puddle or the way the volumetric lighting shines through really makes RTX on and control a next-gen gaming experience. And there you have it folks. Honestly, I was quite surprised at how much ray tracing affects this particular game and really adds to the overall immersion and feeling of being in this creepy building with monsters and floating objects. Every It's just, it really adds to the overall effect. I mean, listen to your boy. Turning on the ray tracing effects and control, especially at the sweet spot on a 1440p high refresh rate monitor with the RTX 2080 Super can lead to some intense 
gaming sessions. I mean, you just gotta try it for yourself. Real talk. I'm gonna get up out of here, but before I go, I wanna give a big, massive shout out to my folks over at Zotac for sending out the 2080 Super. Let me know what you guys think about that build and how it looks in my PC down below. Also, I wanna know what gifts you got. If you got gift cards, what are you gonna do with them gift cards? Let me know down below in the comments. I'll be out there hollering at each and every single one of you. I'm gonna get up out of here. It's your Kenfo Dookie. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and never forget to holler at your boy.